Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to walk you through Midnight Network, Cardano's brand new privacy focused sidechain. We'll cover what it is, how it works, the airdrop mechanics, and why it matters for Cardano. Think of this as an educational backstage pass into the next frontier of blockchain privacy. In my opinion, it's just massive. First, a quick snapshot of what Midnight is all about. Midnight is a privacy smart contract sidechain for Cardano ADA that uses zero knowledge proofs to let users keep transactions and app details private while retaining audit ability. It centers around your privacy. You decide what to hide, whom to share with, and when. The team have already initiated a massive community token distribution called the Glazier Drop. Midnight introduces a dual token model, utility slash governance token, Knight, plus dust, which is a non-transferable and used for fees. If everything goes well, this could significantly expand Cardano's utility, especially for private applications and enterprise adoption, while also drawing in new users from other blockchains. This I will cover later in today's video, so stick with me. So what is Midnight? It's not a standalone blockchain, it's a Cardano sidechain built to allow privacy-enabled smart contracts. You get it, you write code in Compact, a TypeScript-based language, and Midnight runs it privately. It's but, uh, built by IOG and Shielded Labs with oversight from the Midnight Foundation. Right now, it's in active testnet with mainnet imminent. The key milestones include developer docs, Hydra integration, and the ongoing Glazer airdrop, which is open right now. So let's talk about the architecture and tech stack. Well, Midnight, it piggybacks on the Cardano stake in an SPO infrastructure to secure the consensus, but remains its own chain. It uses ZK snarks to hide transaction details while providing validity. Developers build in Compact a DSL similar to TypeScript, which complies to web assembly and ZK circuits for both on-chain logic and off-chain proof generation. So let me talk you through what the typical transaction flow would look like for Midnight user would prepare a transaction in their wallet with shielded fields for privacy. The wallet generates a ZK proof, proof that the transaction is valid without revealing its content. Transaction and proofs are broadcast, nodes verify it and include it in a block. Details remain encrypted, only viewing keys let a compliant party, um, you know, basically our mask it. The fees are paid in dust generated by holding night. So often transactions feel like they're actually free. So let's talk about throughput fees and security dust is uh, what is used for fees. It's predictable because dust is non-tradable and regenerates with your night stake, preventing gas speculation, which we see on many chains. Midnight is also integrated with Hydra to scale, um, to scale transactions. During testing, they processed up to 1 million TPS. Security relies on ZK proof integration and leveraging Cardano's validator ecosystem. So why Midnight? Most blockchains are fully transparent, which is great for some use cases, but not for privacy demanding ones like finance, like your bank, 
Uh, you don't want your bank accounts being seen by everybody. Healthcare, you don't want your medical records being se uh, you know seen by everybody. And let's you know talk about enterprise, right? For me, this is what is required in order to bring in mainstream adoption. If you want enterprise, healthcare, and finance uh, on the blockchain, you need to have a compliant privacy layer, and that is exactly what Midnight is. Privacy coins like Monero and Zcash hide everything but lack smart contracts or selective access, which is what Midnight can offer. Midnight offers programmable privacy where you can choose what is revealed and still you know have the integrity um, you know of your privacy with uh, Cardano node trade-offs uh, as you know the the kind of saying goes it's a very important layer that has been missing and stopping blockchain from going seriously mainstream so let's talk about the founders midnight developed by IOG through a unit called Shielded Labs with support from independent Midnight Foundation for Governance. Uh, founding names include Charles Hoskinson and Femi uh, as well, uh, the foundation president and Shield's technical team. The project is open source and transparent, aligning, with, uh, aligning if I can get my words out, with Cardano itself and how it operates. So many people ask me, what is the impact uh, you know, or what impact is Midnight going to have on the Cardano ecosystem? Well, Midnight is a side chain that could dramatically expand the Cardano ecosystem uh, by making it the go-to platform for regulated or private apps. Developers from other chains like Ethereum, Solana, etc. might use Midnight for confidentiality, creating inbound flows to Cardano. I know ADA hand, um, holders benefit too, as many of the um, claimants in the airdrop, the risk, uh, liquidity or activity could fragment across L1s and midnight and complexity in moving between chains. Yet the um, synergy outweighs those risks if managed well. And I have full faith that Midnight is going to be a big success. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. So let's talk about the utility and emissions. There are around 24 billion Night tokens minted and uh, non-reserved for insiders. 100% is community driven. Half is for Cardano holders, 20% for Bitcoin and 30% for other chains. Knight generates dust for the fees and is intended for governance and validator incentives. The token has a declining issuance model from a reserve targeted approximately 3% yearly and the vesting slash unlock is sta um, staggered over one year to avoid price dumps. When we look at the unlock in three months, you're talking about 25%, six months around 50%, nine months around 75%, and 12 months we'll see 100% night tokens unlocked. I will also add incentives include validator rewards for block producers, developer grants, and um, these will come from the treasury and user dust generation incentives. So the Glazer airdrop has been launched. It's live for 60 days. And, um, you know, let's talk about the uh, eligibility. If you held $100 of ADA, BTC, ETH, Solana, XRP, BNB, AVAX or BAT on June 11th snapshot, Cardano wallets also get 50% of the supply, BTC gets 20% and the rest share 30%. If you had $100 worth of those tokens on the 11th of June in a wallet, not on an exchange, then you will be eligible for the airdrop. 
You can claim, um, you know, uh, in the first phase, within the first 60 days uh, with uh, a signed proof. And I have other videos on the Cheeky Crypto Educational channel on how to do that with all the links. Then there's a scavenger mine, 30 days puzzle-based minting for unclaimed night tokens, and then lost and found multi-year final claim window. So how do you claim? You go to the official portal, prove your ownership by signing a message from the original wallet submit a new cardano address so i say no an unused one but you know best to use a new one sign and wait for the uh locked night tokens no kyc required users uh trusted wallets avoid phishing scams or you know unofficial links go to the midnight.network website or like i say go to one of our um, tutorial guides and click the link from the description of the video stay safe because it's really important there's lots of you know wallet draining websites that will trick you and you will lose everything so be very very careful so i do want to make a note on ledger some ledger users initially had issues signing workarounds using dummy transaction headers is uh, in uh, place now so ledger users can claim but ensure your firmware is up to date so let's talk about the roadmap we've got the mainnet launch expected late this year after the glazer drop uh, bridges to ethereum xrp etc being planned partnerships uh, custo uh, custody providers like fireblocks into uh, institutional uh, pilots like uh, secure plus uh, for reissuance lots are going on there developer adoption to track number of contracts blocks producers transaction volume post launch social buzz dapp launches and governance participation rates will signal success on all of this so anyone that knows me knows i like to keep it real so let's talk about risks and what we should be watching out for technical bugs in zk or smart contract systems centralization if a few validators dominate block production regulatory backlash if privacy features are misused bridge hacks could uh, you know steal assets so again something to be you know very mindful of uh, speculation in night price or you know poor governance turnout and finally user complexity might slow adoption Overall, the balance between privacy and compliance and adoption by developers and enterprise will demonstrate success. So, you know, it's worth highlighting the potential risks, you know, to, you know, everything that goes on here. They are pretty standard, though. So to wrap up, then, Midnight introduces intentional programmable privacy to blockchain built on the Cardano ecosystem, distributed fairly and powered by modern cryptography. It, um, you know, is innovative uh, with its token model and massive airdrop, you know, that is kicking off uh, a huge potential new era for privacy, in my humble opinion. Uh, compliant dApps for Cardano users, Midnight could mean private enterprise grade blockchain functions without stepping outside the ecosystem. So keep an eye on its mainnet, claim your tokens if you're el eligible, if I can get my words out, and let's see if, you know, this privacy project can pave the way forward for the future if this has helped you understand midnight and the place in cardano's future hit the like button subscribe and comment with your thoughts on everything around privacy and blockchain in the comments below until next time stay curious and i will see you when um, i do my next video take care